Breast cancer is one of the most common cancers in women worldwide. Globally, it affects about one in four women. In 2022, about 2.3 million women were diagnosed with breast cancer. If you're looking at the U.S. population specifically, one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. So that's a lifetime risk of about 13%. Another stunning fact would be in 2024, about 30% of newly diagnosed cancers in women will be breast cancer. And being a community doctor who also focuses on specific ethnic groups that may be at a disadvantage, either under resource or lack access to health care or lack access to insurance, or there may be a financial burden in seeking health care. So for non-Hispanic Black women, it is more likely for them to be diagnosed at a younger age for breast cancer compared to non-Hispanic white women. Another interesting fact is that breast cancer rates in Asian American and Pacific Islander women have increased by 50% since 2000. But here's the good news. Early detection through regular screening can significantly improve outcomes. We also know that there's key risk factors that we've seen with women getting breast cancer. Obesity, tobacco use, alcohol use, history of radiation exposure, postmenopausal hormonal therapy is another one. And then obviously a family history of breast cancer. So breast cancer screening involves what's called a mammogram. And it's basically using x-ray. Right now, the more common x-ray uses a 2d which they basically take two kind of images kind of top and the side of the breast newer technology is coming out a lot of 2d machines are being converted to a 3d machine or facilities are upgrading to a 3d machine which takes kind of more pictures the entirety of the breast which helps in in those breasts that are more dense and that actually plays a role now because there has been an update to the screening age criteria which has been been lower to 40 years old and then this is based off the US PSTF guidelines which is the US Preventative Services Task Force. It's important to understand that if that 3D image is available to you it can detect up to 40% more in, in terms of breast cancer compared to the 2D image which is pretty significant. How about you know we just order a breast ultrasound or an MRI of the breast just to be frank and honest I think an ultrasound is helpful in certain situations. So most of the time you will get a baseline mammogram and if it shows an abnormality or an area they want to focus on, most facilities will then order a, a diagnostic ultrasound and also a diagnostic mammogram to kind of focus on that key area. Because it does have limitations, especially in detecting cancer early on, then that prevents it from being like a general screening tool. Really an MRI also can be helpful for certain situations, but it is very expensive and it's something that at this time most facilities won't be able to afford that type of a screening. So most people just use mammograms. Let's talk about the benefits of breast cancer screening, and there are quite a few of them. So first would be early detection, which obviously can identify breast cancer at the earliest stages, often before even symptoms of breast cancer even appear. And say if a cancer is detected early, you actually have more treatment options, which is a good thing, right? You wanna have different options, especially if the options are less aggressive. Unfortunately, if a cancer is detected later on in later stages, it unfortunately may require more aggressive treatment options. Options. So another key stat is, is it's improved survival rates. Studies have shown that the five-year survival rate when a cancer is detected early is about 99%. So early screening really truly saves lives. So the last one is also is really peace of mind. So we want you to have the power, power to take control of your health and to make the best choices for your health. And this screening will do that for you. It'll give you reassurance and the peace of mind you need. Despite the many benefits benefits that I mentioned already, we also understand that there are certain barriers that exist, whether it's just the fear of the diagnosis, the cost, the lack of access, or even just the pain from or the discomfort from having a mammogram done. These are all barriers to getting breast cancer screening. As a healthcare professional, it's really my job to kind of break down these barriers and really understand the why behind the not getting the breast cancer screening and hopefully we can partner up and 
have the best game plan for your health moving forward. Here are some ways to overcome these obstacles and these barriers. One is just really purely education. So really understanding the importance of the mammogram, sharing why it's important to other women, and just really educating your community, your family, and yourself, and why it's so important for you to have this specific test done. So there's a lot of programs that offer free mammograms or mammograms at low cost. I used to be heavily involved in free clinics, and through these free clinics, um, they would also offer mammograms. So it is available out there is just got to find the right resources or connect with the key players within your community. So another key thing is having a supportive environment, not just within the house, but even beyond the household, connecting with people through social media, understanding their experience of getting the mammogram done and really uh, lowering and, and really minimizing the stigma, you know, just getting the exam done, which is key. I encourage everyone watching this video to spread the word of the importance of getting a mammogram done for breast cancer screening, not just for yourself, if you are a woman, you know, you are the age that you need to get it done. Or if you know someone that um, is in that age category that needs to get it done, please advocate for them, for yourself, and really understanding the why behind getting it done. That is really the key to kind of keep you and your family and your community healthier. So here are the next steps. First is if you meet this criteria, schedule that mammogram. It's easy. You can definitely do it. And then I would do it as soon as today. Number two, share this video. So I think this is something that can be beneficial to, to really anyone. If you spread the word about the importance of it, it would gain momentum and more women will get breast cancer screening done. And also stay informed. I would follow individuals and societies and organizations that you believe are reputable and provide good and solid evidence-based research and are also up to date on certain guidelines that come out. Thank you for watching. Remember, knowledge is power, but only if you take action. Really the key for this video is to empower women to prioritize their health moving forward. They're so important in our lives. If you found this content good and want to hear more, please leave a comment and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you get the latest up-to-date information on health and wellness. Take care of yourself, your family, and your neighborhood. Until next time.